Mega Mechatronics. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at these Power Wheels mods, including the servo actuator, the servo potentiometer, throttle mods, battery mounts, and uh, some motor heat sinks. Here we're looking at the aluminum mount, the giant RC servo, and the uh, steel connecting arm. That giant servo is from HobbyKing.com. Taking a closer look at the uh, connecting arm, we have a bronze bushing. That's going to mate up really nicely with a uh, close fitting shoulder bolt right here. Some copper spacers to uh, deal with the clearances. And then we added a little tab on there to equalize the forces uh, transferred from the plastic servo arm to prevent any bending moments and damage to that arm. Here is the system completed. You can see some clearancing on the aluminum mount and the aluminum mount is bolted to the frame. And we can also see the potentiometer that will mate with the stock steering shaft. The lower tab with the smaller hole was welded on and that's what the potentiometer actually mounts to. And then there's that little vertical tab piece and that's the steering stop to prevent oversteering. And there's a steel tube uh, inserted into the steering shaft to act as a universal joint uh, to connect to the potentiometer and that little tab sticking off to the side. You can see how that will interfere with that steering stop going in either direction. And we can see the potentiometer uh, attached to the system complete right here. And now let's look at some videos here. The first video is an initial mock-up and then after that is the final setup. Moving on to the variable throttle, we're going to start with a 90s GM throttle position sensor and mate that with a nice Delphi weather pack connector. We wanted to retain the stock look of the uh, throttle pedal, so we're going to make some mounts to this thing, use some plastic epoxy, aluminum, and some metal TIG welding rod. And I attached a little extension to the throttle position sensor using uh, that rod and then uh, binding that with a thinner gauge copper wire and then filling that all with epoxy. We'll see how this works out in this video here. Now we're looking at the two 12 volt SLA AGM batteries for a total of 24 volts and we attach those to the frame by welding a couple uh, angle iron tabs uh, to the frame and then strap the batteries down with some heavy duty stainless steel bands. With the body attached to the frame, the batteries nest uh, quite well and are very secure. And finally, our heatsink mods here. I'm using some quarter inch thick walled aluminum tubing with a full slot cut through one side to allow the power wires, the motor power wires, to slide through. And then some more vertical slots cut in there to increase the surface area. I use some thermal compound in between the motor and the heatsink to increase the thermal conductivity. Thanks for watching this video.